Service provides world class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys How we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. To switch back within the multiple frames. Okay. Okay, fine. So what is left over now? Which frame is left over now? The first frame is left over. Okay, now, now we'll do one thing. The zero, the index is zero, perfect. So we'll do one thing. Actually, we are using indexes, but we need to use a frame name also. Sometimes frame name is required. Sometimes indexing, it's not a good practice. Suppose you were saying zero, index zero, that might be changed after some time there is one more frame they can keep it right they can remove that frame also we don't know what happens right so indexing is not a good practice we can try to identify the frames using frame names okay we'll do that how do you find the name of the frame how do you find the name of the frame that's a concept now see when I open the page when I refresh the page my focus is on the top window which you cannot see that I'm going to see after this program okay fine and when I say right click and see the page source, you are going to the source of a top top window. You are going to see the source of a top window. What is the source code? This is source code related to what? This source code is related to the top window. Again, I'm saying I open the page. I open the page. I refresh the page. Not don't need to refresh, just to open a page and check right click. Anywhere, anywhere you right click. Not only any here or here, here, frame 1, frame 2, frame 3, not problem. Right click, view page source. Yeah, the source code, what, are, what you are seeing right now is for top window. The source code, what you are seeing is for top window by default. In order to, in order to like, you know, confuse. Because why, what happens when you open the page, the focus is on the top window. So the source code, whatever you are seeing is for the top window. Tell me here. So what is the name of the first frame? What is the name of the first frame? Frame underscore A. Simple. Right? So you can take the frame underscore A name and instead of index, no, source is different. Name is different. Source is different. Name is different. Actually, frame has the attribute source and name, but here we are using name here to identify this frame. To switch to a particular frame, we can use name or else we can use index also. Source, I'm not talking about source, I'm talking about frame underscore A, which is a name here. Okay. And one more thing, it starts from the left hand side. Okay. So how do you confirm 25% is there for frame C and frame A? Which one I have to take? Because when you start, it will start from the left hand side. So frame underscore A is the first one. Frame underscore B is the second one, frame underscore C is the third one. So no need to confuse because it will try to display the HTML pages in the order, whatever you do. Okay? So tau now take this. So nothing, what I am saying is, uh, I have defined three frames here, right? These three frames will be displayed from the left hand side in the order I am saying. Here see, this is for frame A, the, the, from the left hand side, frame A, frame B, frame C. That's the concept I am saying. So frame underscore A, I will take it. Let's write down, how do you switch to your particular frame now? Same concept, driver dot, frame name is frame underscore A. Now how do I find the ID for the first frame text box? Let's go there. Like enable firebug, go to, Alex, just go to HTML tab, uh, click on this and place a mouse pointer here. Uh, 
see what is the id of the what is the id of the frame one what is the id frame one txt Okay, now how many methods we have seen now in this program which are new to today? How many methods we have seen? Okay, we have seen total three methods. Driver dot switch to dot frame index driver dot switch to dot frame frame name driver dot switch to dot default content. These are the three new methods we are seeing today because clear and send case we already covered I think so. So only three methods which are new for frames is if you remember these three methods you can handle any kind of frame. Basically driver dot switch to dot frame index, driver dot switch to dot frame frame name, driver dot switch to dot default content. Okay. Okay, cool. Fine, not a problem. I fine, not an issue. Fine. <clears throat> so now actually when I see any kind of frame I can just any kind of page I can start coding like this okay without knowing much knowledge also I can just go ahead like this right suppose for example I might do a mistake what I do instead of index I'll put 0 I'll put 1 what happens you get an error you can just change the index and just try it will happen it will be easy not an issue you can try like that but it will be a problem so what is a top window what does it mean so how can you recognize the top window? So I'll show you right now. Okay. So first we completed this programming. We completed uh, how do we interact with the frame. So I'll run this program. Let me run this program so you get a feel that what is happening in the background you can see. So let me run this program first. Then we'll go into that. How do you identify top window? So what is this? All these things we'll see. See the output. It takes time to run. It generates output. Then we'll get into how do we identify the page content frames first? All these things we'll see. Thing is still running. It takes some some time, at least 15 seconds, to open the browser and perform the action. So let it open. It depends upon the speed of your laptop also, because it's nothing related to your uh, application uh, speed. It's related to your uh, laptop speed. Okay. So because it'll try to open the browser, uh, so it takes time. It's a browser. Uh, it's all depends upon your laptop speed. Nothing related to your application. Okay. taking time I'll save the notepad I think I didn't save the notepad Okay, I think let it run. 
So we'll get into the concept actually. It takes it is taking some time. Let's get into the. I think it is opening now. I think it's opening. Yeah, just see what's output generates. I think everybody is able to see the output. It is enter the text by clearing the text in the frame two and frame three and frame one. I think everybody is able to see the output, right? Yeah, cool. Fine. Let's get into the, all the questions like you know what we have right now. So I'll explain you all things. Okay, let's see. So I'll close everything. I'll close. I'll keep it open this one because this is what I want. I'll close this one. I'll close this one, which is not required. I'll close it. Okay, fine. Let me refresh this page. Okay, I'll I'll just see. This is the page I open. Again, I'm refreshing. Okay, this is the page I open. So when I see this here, here I I am able to understand there are three frames here because I put specifically I mentioned the colors for understanding, right? Then you are able to understand. Okay, there are three frames available. Some cases you, it is very difficult to under, identify the frames are available in real time scenarios. So how do you identify that in that case? Because for our understanding, the basic example to understand, I put frame one specifically for understanding only. Nobody put clearly frame one, frame two, frame three like that. And also nobody puts the text box saying that I'm in frame one, I'm in frame two, I'm in frame three. This is all for our understanding only, right? In real time scenario, you never find like this. You never find these these colors like this, right? These odd colors like this, right? You just see a plain page, web page, and you see some controls that are getting displayed. You don't know whether that is available in a frame or not. It's not possible. It's not easy to identify that it's in frame or not. So what I have to do in that case? See, you follow the procedure. What I say? Suppose, for example, when I open the page, don't think that it has frames. Just place a mouse pointer here. Place a mouse pointer here and try to find the ID element. ID. Yes, frame one txt is it is identifying the ID as frame one txt. Okay, do one thing. Go and just say driver dot find element by ID as frame one txt and run the program. If it is failing means then you have to check are there any frames available in this page which is failing this scenario. Okay, don't check every time it's a frame is there or not. No, don't check. Just go and check. Follow the rule. Just for, go and identify the elements. Just run the program. If it is not working, okay, and you think okay, there might be frames available in this page. That is one scenario, okay, where you can just go ahead and just try to automate it. And if face any issues, check. Think are there any frames? Why it is unable to identify it? Are there any frames available? That's a basic basic check. You can do it, okay. Then. Because why I'm saying basic check means don't think that every time it will be frames available because otherwise you spend time unnecessarily, right? So just go ahead and just do that. That's basic check. First, then if an element is not found, then how do you know how many frames available? So if you want to find out how many frames that are available, go to fire path. See here, I'm going to fire path. When I go to fire path, what are you seeing here? What is the message you are seeing here? What is the message you are seeing here? Top window. This one. I am talking about this one. I am placing mouse pointer here. Top window, right? See this one. This one I am placing the mouse pointer here. Top window. So what is happening whenever you open the page? This shows as a top window. Means you are in the top window. Okay. And one more point. When you see the source code here, this is the source code of. Okay, I'll show you again. This is the top window. See here, I'm placing a mouse point here. It's showing some pop-up. See, this is the top window. I'm just see. I'm just placing my mouse here. 